Hello, this is a video review of the Tin Audio T5. I figured I'd make one for the YouTube only members of the Audio Discourse audience. Um, I wrote a full review a couple days ago, which I'll link in the description below. Please check that one out for a much more in depth look into the Tin T5. And I'll show some frequency response graphs in there as well if you're interested. Um, this video review will mostly be a casual summary of that formal review. Alright, so here we have the Tim T5 obviously, I already made an unboxing video that you can check out, the link is in the description. Um, on a quick note of this cable here, um, I will say that you know I'm not a super big fan, I don't hate it but I don't love it, it's, it's serviceable I guess, you can see there's a bit of cable memory there. Um, yeah, alright, so I guess Right off the bat, um, I want to say that I don't really recommend the Tin T5. I would get the T2 Plus instead. And as I go through this video, I, I hope you know you'll you understand why I say that. So starting with the bass, uh, the Tin T5 has quite a bit of a bass boost. I wouldn't say it's you know fully bass head levels, but it's it's kind of getting there. Um, at first, I find that it bleeds into the mids quite a bit actually, um, but I don't think it's muddy like how I traditionally think. Uh, muddy is but there is a there is a lack of definition um, which makes it kind of like bleh to listen to uh, I talk about this in my written review but the Tin T2 Plus which I have right here the base curve is actually basically identical to the Tin T5s but what I find with the T2 Plus is that it's way more enjoyable to listen to because I find that the bass is just a lot more defined you can hear the notes a little bit better and um, there's less there's less of a kind of like a smear in the bass and in actually like the lower mids as well. And speaking of the lower mids, uh, the you know the Tin T5 has that bass bleed into there, but I find that the upper mids of the Tin T5 is actually pretty okay for me. Uh, it has a nice sort of pin up peak and gain around the 2.5 to 3k hertz mark, um, which is very similar to that actually of the T Audio Clairvoyance. And once again in my written review, you can see some of the graphs for that, but you know, because of the lower mids bleeding, I find that vocals on the Tin T5 can start to sound pretty inconsistent. And so an example of that would be, you know, if a singer is singing by himself, like the soloist, and they have maybe one or two instruments going on with them, so like an acoustic guitar, for example, I think it sounds fine. Uh, the tonal balance is good, the voice has a strong and clear melody that's right front and center. But when a full band really gets going, um, you know, you have the drums, you have the bass guitar, the the toms, like a lot of energy exists in that lower mids region and the voice also has a lot of energy in the lower mids and what happens is that it gets um, kind of congested in that area and then the singer starts losing their clarity and they get lost in the mix somehow. So in that regard, I, I don't think the mids of the T5 is particularly amazing either. Coming to the treble, you know, I think the story is kind of clear here but the treble isn't super great on the T5 as well. Um, there is a pretty sizable like peak around the 5k mark or so. Um, I'm personally not affected by it that much and I don't find the T5 that fatiguing. But I know there's going to be a lot of people who will and I know Android does find the T5 to be fatiguing at times. Um, what this peak actually does to my ear is that it makes the hats and the cymbals sound splashy. So you have the, you have the hit and then you kind of have this like middle part of it where it kind of rings out but there's no proper decay towards the end. Um, and so it has this really splashy sound that explodes because of this peak, um, but without the proper balance to it. And that really throws off the timbre for me. And But that said, I think, you know, the treble energy is kind of needed because if the, the Tin T5 actually sounds like kind of dead past that lower treble energy. Um, and so it's definitely needed to add a bit of um, life to the Tin T5. I would say the T2 Plus, um, the upper mids and the treble on its curve in the frequency response looks quite a bit different from the, from the Tin T5, but I much prefer the Tin 2 Plus's um, response in that sense. It sounds a lot more balanced, it sounds a lot more cleaner to me overall. Alright, so coming to the sound station imaging, I would say, you know, like most vast, vast majority of IEMs out there, the Tin T5's sound station imaging are very mediocre is very middling. Same same really with the T2 Plus here. But I would say on the imaging side, the Tin T5 is actually slightly worse than its soundstage. Um, the resolution isn't very good either. I would say it's on the level of a T2 Plus, 
or slightly worse, um, which is not a good, which is not a good thing when you consider that this costs literally more than slightly more than twice what this costs. Um, basically, I think the T5 has sort of an undefined type of sound. Notes aren't very tight, you know. Um, instrument separation isn't the best, and it's really exacerbated by the weak staging on the Tin T5. So I guess in conclusion, like the best the best way to sound the Tin T5 is that you know it's a hundred hundred thirty dollar IEM depending on if you get like the early bird bird or not. You know it looks like a two hundred dollar IEM. It looks it looks pretty nice to me. It feels really solid, but it sounds like fifty dollars. Like frankly, it just it just sounds like a generic fifty dollar chi fi IEM that's not really not worth not worth your time at all. So yeah, looks like. It looks like 200, sounds like 50. In my opinion, the T2 Plus is everything the T5 should have been and actually is better than that in every way. It even has a better stock cable in my opinion. Um, and it costs half as much. So I guess you can kind of see like where I'm going with that. While I wouldn't call the T5 a completely awful IEM, I do think it's mediocre at best. Um, it doesn't like offend me or anything unless you want to consider the fact that paying so much for an IEM that is not really that good offensive um, and I guess you know if your mark of success is whether or not I would want to buy this shiny new Tin T5 or the old Tin T4 or any of the other IEMs that are really competitive in the you know $200 sub $200 space um, then I guess in that light you can call you know the T5 a failure. So yeah, I guess that's it from me. Um, please go read the full written review that I spent way too long writing on audiodiscourse.com and read the other reviews on there um, because we have a lot of reviews that don't actually get turned into videos. I know Android has a Moondrop Aria review that you'll definitely want to check out um, because that, that plays right around that $70, $80 price range. So yeah, that, that's it. Subscribe, like, whatever. Until next time, see ya.